after all summer long of speculating where Jadavian Clowney could end up going, we now have rumors and reports that Jadavian Clowney has decided that he is going to sign with the Tennessee Titans for this upcoming 2020 NFL season. Now, we don't know the details of the contract. We don't know the length. We don't know the amount. But what we do know is that Clowney has told Titans officials that he is going to sign with the team. This is big news for the Titans uh, in their in their look to return back to the AFC Championship game and hopefully, for their fans' sake, get past the Chiefs, past whoever, and get into the Super Bowl. Now, th- there's always much concern. I know when I was leading up to... Uh, this news, I had exchanged messages with uh, Titan Upload, another uh, a great YouTube channel out there for Titans fans and NFL in general. And I was exchanging, oh, where do you think do you think he's going to go to the Titans? And and in our conversation, you know, the fact that we're you know camp is already open, the season's about to start, and you know you still have to sit out your 14 day uh, you know quarantine. I thought, and and I said. Does Clowney even want to play this year? You know, has he voluntarily chose to opt out? But it looks like that's not the case, and he is going to be going to the Tennessee Titans. So let's look at this from the Titans standpoint. I like this move quite a bit because it gives the Titans another pass rusher, another force along that defensive line, someone that they really need. You know, this pass off season. The Titans had Jarrell Casey, a guy that I wouldn't say he's an Aaron Donald type player. I wouldn't say he's maybe a top five defensive tackle, defensive lineman in the league, but he's still one of the more underrated players in the league at that position. And the Titans ended up trading him away to the Broncos for a measly seventh round pick. And that was a big surprise to me, not only because you traded away one of your better defensive linemen, potentially your best, but then you only got a seventh round pick out of that. So... That tells me that they were going to cut him anyway, but they never really replaced him. They, they drafted Laurel Merchinson in, uh, on day three, but he wasn't the guy that I thought could step in and, and be that starter. So to get Jadavion Clowney here, I think really picks up the slack and potentially gives him a little bit more dynamic pass rusher out of that defensive line position. Because if we looked at how the, the, the Titans did against the Chiefs in that AFC Championship game, they struggle to really get a pass rush. They have Harold Landry, they have Jeffrey Simmons, but they 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 couldn't get that that pressure. And a guy like Clowney, I think, is going to to be able to to give them that. Now, Clowney does come with some concerns. You know, even back to his days at South Carolina when he was coming out of the NFL draft, he was someone that we. You had to question his 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 work, not necessarily his work ethic, but his motor and his drive. There was plenty of plays where he seemed to take the game off. And even in his NFL career, there's games where if it's not that big of a game, you kind of see him not really giving it all. But then if it's Monday Night Football, if it's Sunday Night Football, if it's against a, you know, a big-time opponent, he is balling out. So it's up on Mike Vrabel, Vrabel to get the most out of him. And it does help having some experience with Clowney. You know, Vrabel was the the head coach, the defensive coordinator for the Houston Texans when Jadavian Clowney was there. He had been his position coach. So Vrabel knows what he's getting into. He knows what type of player Clowney is, what he can be, what he isn't, and uh, that, that ability, that knowledge of that, I think is definitely going to help out. Now, Having experience in this defense will help for Clowney because, you know, the Titans are a 3-4 team. I would say Clowney would probably be best served in a 4-3, but that being said, he played in a 3-4 defense with the Texans, and so they're going to know how to use them. Clowney's not your true beat-you-around-the-edge, speed, bend-the-edge type guy. He's more of your power inside pass rusher, so sometimes playing in that 3-4 is not as big of a deal. And you're going to line them up potentially on early downs as the outside linebacker opposite of Harold Landry. But when it all is said and done, he's going to have his hand on the ground. He's going to be rushing. And if you look at what the Titans have, their potential four-man front, you've got 
Jeffrey Simmons at one defensive tackle. You can move Clowney out to the three technique. You got Harold Landry. You got Vic Beasley. That those four guys rushing the passer is significantly better than whatever the Tennessee Titans have had in the past. You mix in Daquan Jones. You mix in, like I said, Vic Beasley, and you got four potentially five guys, six guys that could really give them what they need out of that defensive line and uh it just gives them another piece as they're looking to move i, I like what the titans have done this offseason they've kept their core together they've lost a few guys but they were able to replace them in the draft or free agency now you get jay davy and Clowney, and i think this is a, a move if they can get Clowney to buy in and i think they will on a one-year deal or, or a short-term deal that they can really get the most out of him and hope that he can uh, be what they need to get over that hump, get over that Chiefs hump into the NFL uh, Super Bowl. So I like the move. I like the fit. It'll be curious to see how it all plays out.